You have George Soros, you have Russia, China, and Islam. These are the players of the table. Who's going to win? Well, Soros, he is the ultimate capitalist. He wants a new world order. He's with the UN, he's with the banks, he's with the corporations. An atheist is giving millions to churches to help him in this new world order. He's got radicals, communists helping him. He's on his payroll. I'm sorry, laundered money from him. You have Russia, radicals, military, and energy. They're sitting at the table, they're holding some good cards here, and they've already got Europe by the throat. Then you have China. China is the obvious winner here. They have plenty of money, plenty of people. They have tech, they have resources. The military is about to take over. Think of this, they have 1.4 billion people in China alone. We have 310 million. We've got the resources. And this is the last one sitting at the table. Radicalized Islam. Islam, as it's done in the Middle East, they have the oil, but they also have something else that is a trump card. And that is, I should, I should make that, they have faith, they have faith on their side. They believe in something. George Soros, all of his minions, all of his minions, they only believe in money. Faith in God trumps money every time. How about Russia? Russia, radicals, they have to, both of them in the end, have to have a thugocracy. China is a thugocracy. Radicalized Islam is the winner against those guys.